As I always say, building stuff and working on side projects is the best way to learn and practice programming. And if you can use the result in your daily life, that's even better. Today, we'll take a look at seven different automation ideas for Python. For each of them, we're going to go through a basic list of features as well as concepts that you would need for the implementation. Also, for most ideas mentioned, I will refer you to specific tutorials on my channel that you can watch in case you're interested. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. But now let's get right into it. Now, the first automation project idea on this list is a custom news aggregator. Chances are you're following multiple blogs, news feeds, or subreddits, and instead of checking all of these sources manually on a regular basis, you can build a tool that centralizes everything in an own custom application. Now, this can be a very complex project or a very simple project. You can build something minimalistic like an RSS feed collector that just lists all the links and headlines on a single HTML page, or you can make something feature rich with a nice design. In any case, you're going to have to familiarize yourself with web scraping, RSS feeds, databases, and web applications. Packages and technologies to look into would be beautiful soup, the requests library, Selenium, feed parser, as well as various API packages, depending on the sources that you want to use. I think it also wouldn't harm to know a little bit about SQLite, Postgres, and also to know how to work with frameworks like, for example, Flask or Django. On this channel, I have a tutorial where I show you how to build a custom news hub using Flask and feed parser. You can check it out if you want to get started with this. Next up, we have an invoice parser. And this one is a very versatile project because it has so many different use cases. Maybe you need to split grocery bills on a regular basis. Maybe you have a lot of clients and companies that are sending you invoices. Maybe you just want to keep track of invoices for tax reasons. All of these problems would benefit from an automation. Now, one part of the project is the document extraction itself. This includes stuff like OCR or using vision language models. And another part is building the workflow around it. What do you do with the extracted data? Extracting it is one challenge. The other one is doing something intelligent with the extracted data. For example, you might want to automate some Google Sheets API to automatically put all the information into a structured table. Maybe you want to implement a custom splitting logic that executes automatically. Maybe you want to allow multiple users to access the same documents and make decisions based on the data. All of this is up to you and highly customizable. Again, this project can range from being extremely simple and almost trivial to being extremely complex and challenging. You can implement the OCR from scratch, or you can just use an API that someone else has built for you. And of course, this also influences what concepts and tools you should learn. For example, if you're building OCR from scratch, there's a lot of machine learning that you need to learn. You need to familiarize yourself with OpenCV and TensorFlow or PyTorch. Whereas if you just use an API, knowing about the requests package and understanding JSON and CSV is probably enough. If you need some help getting started, you can check out my tutorials on building an invoice parser in Python. I have two of them. Another useful idea is a tool that automates note taking during online calls. Now there's two components to this one. One is the speech recognition and the other one is the structuring and summarizing. The latter can easily be done with a large language model and the former can also easily be done with something like OpenAI Whisper. Although this project would mainly be a wrapper around existing AI models, you can make it more interesting by adding features like connecting it to Google Docs or automatically sending email summaries after a call. Once again, on this channel, I have numerous videos about LLMs and also about speech recognition in OpenAI Whisper. The fourth idea is to build a tool that automatically synchronizes or backs up your system. This can be done on demand manually, or it can be done in a scheduled way. For example, every weekend or every day at 5 p.m. There's again many design choices that you can make here. You can connect it to an FTP server. You can connect it to Google Drive or to Dropbox. You can make it a CLI application or a GUI application. Feel free to build whatever suits you best. You're probably going to have to work with a couple of core Python packages like OS or Pathlib. And also, of course, with the packages that are connecting to the API that you want to use, for example, the Google Drive API or Dropbox, or in the case of FTP, you should know how to connect to FTP using Python. Additionally, for the scheduling part, you can either use cron jobs on your system, or you can use something like Celery. On this channel, I have two videos where I show you how to build a backup tool in Python, one using Dropbox and one using Google Drive. When I was looking for an apartment a couple of years ago, I had to refresh the same three or four sites every day to hopefully find some interesting new listings. However, there were a lot of new listings every single day, and I had criteria that disqualified 95% of them. Instead of manually looking through all the new listings, I automated this process using Python. 
And this is idea number five, automate a tedious process on the web. This can be as in my example, finding interesting apartment listings, or you can also use this to find a job. Whatever you pick as your task, you will most likely have to familiarize yourself with beautiful soup for requests in Selenium, similar to idea number one minus the RSS. And specifically, you should learn how to handle dynamic websites. So websites where the content is loaded over time, and where requests alone is not enough to parse the information. I don't have a specific tutorial for this idea on my channel, but I do have many videos on web scraping and also a short introduction into Selenium. A more comprehensive project idea is number six, the personal chatbot assistant. And this one can include many different features. You could even combine all the project ideas into this one and have your own personal assistant that takes care of the invoices, takes care of the backups, and also scrapes for jobs or apartment listings. The idea is to build a chatbot, potentially even with a voice interface that automates everything that's important to you. Calendar entries, Google documents, emails, getting the latest news, getting information about the weather, managing your finances, whatever you want to do with your personal assistant. Essentially, you have two major ways of implementing this. One is to build an LLM wrapper. So to take a large language model as the basis and build an agent around it using Langchain, using LangGraph, with tool use and so on. Or you build your own neural network to do intense based classification. So to classify intents, essentially, in this case, you would use something like PyTorch or TensorFlow to build an intense classifier. So a neural network that can classify based on a message, what kind of request you're making, maybe it can even filter out certain parameters, then you would map those intents to function calls and build a whole process around it. For both approaches, I have a ton of videos, just look up chatbot on my channel, and you will find plenty of tutorials. Finally, automation idea number seven is email automation which is quite vague, but that's intentional. Everyone has slightly different use cases when it comes to email. Some people want to send a lot of emails using templates. They want to automate processes and lead generation, whereas other people receive a lot of emails and they want to automatically find the interesting ones. Maybe you also just want to answer 95% of your emails using large language models and you don't want to type manually. Whatever your specific use case is, I think that automating some part of your email workflow is beneficial in most cases. Now I don't have super specific tutorials for this idea on the channel, but I do have some videos where I explain how to work with IMAP and SMTP and Python, which is two of the packages that you're going to need. And also you should probably look into the email package. And that's basically for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also something new that I want to mention now in my videos at the end is I offer private tutoring and also freelancing services. So if anyone is interested, you can go to my website and then to the services tab. So neural9.com slash services if you want to check this out. Besides that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you for watching. See you in the next video and bye.